I see him! I see him! Morgan! <laughs> <laughs> No barn cats, no barn cats inside. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Whoa! Oh, Lord. I think it's crampon time, ladies and gentlemen. I almost fell and broke my butt. When it's super icy out, these things make all the difference in the world. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, guys. So we've got a uh, freezing rainstorm today. I mean, it's always fun when it's freezing rain. Who's my little barn kitten? Not so little anymore. We got you in early June and you are now getting to be a pretty good sized cat. I mean, look at the comparison, right? It's remarkable how quickly she's grown up. Given that Thanksgiving's passed and we're officially in the uh, holiday season, if you will, it's time for us to get our Christmas tree. I need to get us a Christmas tree. I don't want to go buy one at a lot. I want one that's from our land that we grew here. We're going to trek through about a foot of slush and snow to get up to the top of the pasture, get all the way back there, look for the perfect tree, cut it down, and bring it back here so that Allison and I can have a nice Christmas setting. By the way, we're still trying to figure out what we should name our um, scarecrow there. There's gonna be a special prize for the winner. We've had a lot of good suggestions so far, but I'm not quite ready to declare a winner just yet. So if you have a name for our scarecrow lady, let me know, leave it in the comments. Stay still. You're gonna scare me. Where'd it go? So we were just driving along and we saw a vole. It was running around on top of the snow, but then just disappeared oh, into the slush. I see him! I see him! Morgan! Little <laughs> <laughs> guy, don't go under there! No, no, no! You don't want me there. <laughs> Don't, don't, you're going to squirt it at me. There. Be free. Soft landing. All right. We'll leave you alone. Bye, little guy. Have a good afternoon. Pablo and Lil eat those things all the time. No, Pablo doesn't like the bowls. Yeah, he just kills them. 
but they eat our trees, so they're actually not a good thing. Which one that? Cedar? You like that one? Yeah. Yeah, tracks. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, dear wife. Oh, Here, give me your hand. Go, oh, gosh. <laughs> You gotta stand up. I can't just pull you. Like a here, sit up. <laughs> what are you doing? It's so wet. It's yeah, so I don't know wet. why. You... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're editing that. Editing that in, you mean? Oh yeah. <laughs> You like that one? I think he's pretty good. Or this little guy. Or this little too small. That one's a little Charlie Brownish. That's kind of good. There's a few more over here too. This one? You like that one? That's a good one. And these are all ones that I'm probably gonna thin out. Like I want to keep like the big trees, like this guy and that guy. But a lot of these smaller trees that you see here. Um, I'm gonna try to thin out, so if we were to take that one, it would be fine. Why don't you just go pick out one of those trees and you tell me, make it a surprise. You trust my judgment on trees? You've been okay in the past. You brought me home that really sad one, the first Charlie. Oh, that we got in Brooklyn? Yeah. That was a good, sad tree. Oh, he was so pathetic. Here, let's go back to, let's take one of these. We'll do it together. We'll make the choice together. I don't understand these people that try to get these nice looking trees. I mean, there's so many little trees in the world that need homes. These two were pretty good. This one. You want this one right here? This is it? Let's do a one thorough ex examination of it. This looks pretty good. You get to take care of? I don't know. We might need to get buy one. I think it'd be a pretty good tin foil one. You want to make another tin foil one? Give me that. Whoa, timber! Here is our tree. Your job, I'm gonna be reach back there and hold it down. You got this. this? Yep, right there, perfect. Can we get a shot of you walking the tree? Yeah. You know, it really is incredible to be able to go out to your own backyard and find a tree like this and cut it down. And the other cool thing about it is, like this is a tree that, you know, because it was growing so close to other mature, healthy trees, you know, you know, I probably would have had to cut down anyway. And so uh, this feels like a very good use for a tree. Excuse me, Pablo. <laughs> Excuse me, Pablo. I need put the tree here, man.
So it might not be the best looking tree in the world, but it's our tree from our farm. Um, you know, Allison and I have had this tradition of getting Charlie Brown looking Christmas trees pretty much ever since we were engaged. And so to have a somewhat imperfect tree this is actually very good to us. And to have an imperfect tree that's here from our farm that we were able to go out and spend an afternoon and harvest ourselves, that's, that's even better. Now that you've seen us harvest a tree, why don't you check out a video where we are actually planting trees or you can watch something else. As always, you can subscribe. And if you really wanna help us out, uh, please be sure to share our videos with your friends. The more of you that share our content, the more it helps us grow and it helps us build our farm here at Goldshaw Farm.